Your Fox Carolina first alert weather. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. We are going to be waking up to, I would say, fairly mild temperatures. I mean, as we go on throughout the morning, sunrise 747, we'll definitely have our temps drop. And then after that, we'll be able to rise back to the 60s by noon and then eventually some reaching a low 70. Cloudy conditions, though, this is keeping us in the 50s this morning. You may still want that light jacket and some may want to just have the umbrella handy, especially if you're mainly within the mountains. Also waking up to cooler temperatures there. But sunrise, 747. We have big changes coming our way due to daylight saving time coming to an end over the weekend. And this means Sunday morning sunrise will be at 655 with sunset, 530 p.m. So enjoy the darker mornings, I guess, that we have in the coming days and then more so the darker evenings because we're going to start getting dark early and lighter earlier as we go on throughout next week. First alert radar, it's a bit cloudy out there. We have incoming clouds from the west. That system, when we zoom out, you can see a little bit of a short wave that we have moving through areas like Memphis, northerly parts of Jackson, and moving in a northeasterly direction in general. We're going to stay mainly dry through this system as it does approach closer to home in the coming days because we have high pressure in place. It's keeping that moisture at a minimal, minimum. I would say just the mountains barely has a chance, like 20% throughout the day. Otherwise, the upstate will stay dry, just a bit more cloudy. And that's going to be our impact from the system. Still getting to, I think, a low 70 for a lot of us, or at least an upper 60, very mild, and times of sun every so once in a while. I mean, as we go on throughout the evening, I think 4 or 5 o'clock, that's when we have a better chance of seeing some sunshine once that system continues to trek eastward. Mountains will be actually not far off from the upstate in terms of temperatures. Still the 60s for a lot of us today. If you are anywhere from Anderson to Greenwood, Lawrence, off to that northerly half of Newberry, Elberton, you have a better chance of seeing the sun where the rest of us will get I would say a decent amount of high clouds out there, so still we'll get some time for that sun to burst through. And then Franklin area off towards Hendersonville and the west of there, we'll see just a chance of rain. More rain coming our way Saturday into Sunday. This is our next cold front that's going to be coming in from the west, bringing chances of showers. So enjoy the dry time while we have it. Today is going to be mainly dry, just a bit more cloudy, but then the sun will really be able to burst through both Thursday and Friday. It's going to be mild, back to the 70s, and mostly sunny skies. Your upstate forecast in general, it's not too bad. I mean, we do have some times of rain. I would say Saturday right now looks to be the better chance of getting rain throughout the afternoon and evening. Still, though, isolated showers. Sunday, we could see that kind of trickle into, you know, most of the morning time, early afternoon, and then we end up having that system exit, and we remain dry for a Sunday evening, and that's setting us up for a beautiful start of night next week. Also, don't forget to turn your clocks back Saturday into Sunday due to we're falling back. Daylight saving coming to an end. The mountains showing similar conditions, eventually warming back to the 70s for the mountains. Unreal for November and staying mainly dry throughout Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Those chances, though, of rain Wednesday, today, just very slight, more so Saturday into Sunday.